Why do we meditate? To connect with the bigger picture so that we don't get stuck in the rough so that we don't get stuck in the small stuff. We zoom out and we start to organize the things from the bigger picture perspective of who we are. When we take the time to go out in nature and put our feet in the ground and listen to our bodies, we start to connect with the truth that's encoded in every single cell within our body. From that truth, we build a new foundation of who we are so we don't get stuck in all the various distractions of the world, the things that try and take us off center, whether it's the, you know, the beeping of the phone. Turn off those notifications, by the way, you, well, unless it's urgent, but you have the power to choose what you in, let into your life. Uh, we come to center. Take the time to breathe, breathing more deeply. We oxygenate the body, increasing detoxification, increasing the nourishment that gets to every single cell in the body. We become more efficient, extending our lifespan. When people meditate, the telomeres on their DNA grow longer, which is one of the most reliable signs of longevity. Changes happen in the brain. Uh, increases in gray matter. Um, this is actually the density of your cells. Um, calmer, more relaxed, more empathic. They find that healthcare practitioners who practice mindfulness, they have greater, better results with their patients, higher levels of empathy, higher levels of compassion, less compassion fatigue. Um, why do we meditate? There's a hundred more reasons, but here's just a few.